a, a cool thing that happens despite the seasons when you're a woman is that um, you get street harassed. Anyone here know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, street harassment. It's like particularly brutal in the summer, but like men do not take a season off. <laughs> Even when you are like head to toe, got scarf on your face, men are hollering at you on the street, I promise you. Um, and so like, it's dumb. It sucks. Street harassment is so shitty. If you're a dude and you yell at women on the street, like stop doing it. You're a piece of shit. That's just a hot tip from me to you. It's free advice, you know what I mean? Like, um, but I feel like there's, there's like two different kinds of street harassment. And if you're like a shitty person, you would classify them as being like one of them is good and one of them is bad. Um, but like, to be clear, just one more time, they're both bad and you're a shitty person. If you do. <laughs> um, so like the good, I think what like men think is the good kind of street harassment is the kind of street harassment where they tell you how like attractive they think you are or how much they like your body. Which, like, first of all, who cares? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I certainly don't. Um, and so, like, I, I, like, an example of this is, like, so recently I was, like, drinking. Um, and it was late at night. And it was actually quite early in the morning. It was, like, 3.30 in the morning. And I was walking down Bloor Street the illustrious street in Toronto. I'm walking down Bloor Street. Just, I've got friends with me, but I am just walking like 10 feet ahead of them, having the time of my life. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, just having a drunken time of my life. And I come upon a payphone. And I think to myself, oh, Lauren, you're such a great comedian. This is such a funny premise. Wouldn't it be funny if people still use payphones? Now, that has never once landed in front of an audience of people. But at that time, when I was so drunk, I was just like, Oh, Warren, why are you so smart and funny? That's the greatest comedy premise of all time. And you know what great comedians do with great comedic premises? They follow it through to its logical conclusion. So I went over to the payphone, I picked it up, and I proceeded to have a fake conversation with myself. I was like, mm, yeah, let's set that meeting up for tomorrow. We're going to make business happen. Um, and while I, was, while I was doing that, just like having a time, uh, all of a sudden I hear from behind me someone from the street yell, Hey, payphone! 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 And so I turned around and I was like, are you talking to me? And it was actually two dudes and they were like super inconspicuously like loading stuff into the trunk of a car at 3.30 in the morning um, on a very busy street in Toronto. And so they were like, yeah, we're talking to you. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. But I'm like clearly in the middle of something right now. <laughs> like, um, and so the one guy was like, you look like a thick, sexy librarian. And I was like, I know. <laughs> but like, again, important business phone call happening right now. And his friend was like, when are you gonna let us take you out for dinner? And I was like, the two of you? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> so like, we are married now. <laughs> uh, we have a like loving and respectful relationship, as like these things are want to turn out. Um, I actually live in the trunk of their car. It's very comfortable. <laughs> um, so like that's the, that's a good kind of street harassment. Or like, like you have a nice body or whatever the fuck they want to tell you. Uh, the bad kind of street harassment, which I think we can all agree is just like generally annoying, is when. Uh, Motherfuckers get like pedantic about it, uh, and what I mean by that is like they tell like they, they like critique what you're doing, and it's like they're nagging. I think that's what uh, shitty men call it is nagging. <laughs> um, so like an example of this is uh, one time I was uh, walking down Bloor Street again. Wow, I spent a lot of time on Bloor Street. <laughs> um, I was actually coming to a show here, and I was late, so I was just like booking it. Do you know what I mean? I'm very professional, so I'm like trying to get trying to not be super late. Just a real professional comedian in front of you right now. Um, <laughs> so I'm just like giving her, walking down Bloor Street, and this man who's standing in front of one of those uh, Portuguese bars where men just hang out from 9 a.m. till 9 a.m. the next day, like they have nothing to do and no families. This man steps out from the uh, patio, and he looks at me and he goes, you should smile. It's free. 
<laughs> and I was like, free for who, sir? Free for who? Like, are you looking at my skin? I am pushing 30. I look like I'm fucking 16. Like, who is it free for if I smile for random motherfuckers on the street and I get premature wrinkle lines on my face? Sir, do you know how much expensive moisturizer I use? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, don't, don't tell me how to live my life. 24 hour drinking Portuguese grandpa man. So whatever, I'm pissed. Like being told to smile is the most annoying form of street harassment. So I'm fucking pissed. So I'm continuing with a frown on my face, which again, premature wrinkles, like I made me angry, so it's a lose-lose, right? Um, I keep walking down the street. I'm like, again, hoofing it, walking so fast. I walk down, the, all of a sudden, this man, he's like standing in like an alcove and then he, he like steps out of the alcove, he pauses a conversation that he's having in the year of our Lord, 2015, on a fucking flip phone. He's having a phone conversation on a flip phone in public. He stops that conversation to say, Miss, why are you walking like that? <laughs> and I was like, ooh, like I have somewhere to be? I see you don't know what that feels like. Flip phone, Mr. Flip phone. Who the fuck are you talking to on that flip phone, sir? Your mother? I don't know. It's very upsetting to me. Do you know what I mean? That people who make such bad life choices feel like they can critique the way that I'm trying to be on time somewhere. <laughs> If I was a man, I would be so fucking good at street harassing. <laughs> like, if I was a dude and I saw a woman that I thought was attractive and I wanted to holler at her, I would just go up to her and I would be like, excuse me, miss, uh, I just want to stop you and say, I'm so sorry, I don't mean to like, I don't mean to interrupt you and I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, but uh, I just want to tell you that I think your eyebrows look amazing. <laughs> They're incredibly symmetrical. They look great. And I know you didn't do that shit for me. I know you did it for yourself. <laughs> you love yourself and I respect that. I would be rolling in pussy. <laughs> Just rolling. But like, so respectfully, of course. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. My name is Lauren.